Inhale with Steve Ross. Welcome to Inhale. I'm Steve Ross, believe it or not. We're going to do some yoga. Stand up. Believe that or not? <laughs> if you can. Step the feet apart. If I'm not intruding. Come all the way forward. And relax a little bit. Breathe through the nose the entire time you're alive. While you're here, you can do any variations with the arms you want. You can grab the heels and pull down, or you can interlock the hands behind you and drop them over your head. Or you can wave them around in frantic motions. But keep the legs straight if possible. Make sure the neck is relaxed and soft. Okay, bring the hands down if they're not already. Slowly roll all the way up. We're going to start with the triangle pose, Chikonasana in Sanskrit. You turn the left foot out all the way, keeping the right foot straight. Bring the arms up. Inhale. As you exhale, extend out and come down. Bring the hand down to the shin or ankle or foot or even the floor if you like. Look straight up. Really extend up with the right fingertips. You want a little more stretch on your side? Stretch the arm right over the head. Breathe through the nose. My life, thoughts that drift away. The summer come for everyone can hear them still and prophesy. If I die before I That's fun. Come on up. Other side. Turn the left foot straight, right foot out. Come on out and down. As much as you can, try to roll the upper body back. In alignment with the legs. Smile. Things aren't so bad. <laughs> okay, come on up. Turn the feet straight, hang all the way forward. That's enough of that. Roll all the way up. Time to party even though you don't look like you're in the mood. Bring the feet together. <laughs> Maybe you'll be in the mood afterwards. Palms together, roll all the way up with the arms. Drop the head back. Exhale, come all the way forward. Hands down, head up, jump backwards, step back. Stay here. We're going to hold it until you snap psychologically. <laughs> I don't care, I can stay here all day. I've already snapped years ago. All right, slowly come down. Try to keep the elbows close to the ribs. If you have to bring the knees down to make it easier, that's okay, you'll live. Once you get close, inhale and arch up into the upward facing dog. 
Ideally, the legs are straight and off the floor, arms are straight. Push the chest forward, drop the shoulders down and back. You can also drop the head back if that's too much for you. Bring the legs down to the floor, you'll still get a stretch. I don't see any reason to move. <laughs> All right, push back into the downward facing dog. Should we stop now and go get some cappuccino? Come back in an hour? Just stay here, sinking the heels down toward the floor. Chest down toward the floor, too. Try to flatten the back. Arms are very straight. You're pushing away with the hand. So the upper back and shoulders get a nice stretch. Make sure the neck is relaxed. Relaxed enough to move. Light as you can, jump both feet or step the feet up to the hands. Roll all the way up, stretch up. You can always arch back a little bit if you want to. Exhale, come forward. Hands down, head up, jump or step back. Come on down, slow again if it's too hard, bring the knees down, that makes it a lot easier. Once you get close, inhale and arch up. Exhale and push back, down, down. Yeah. Raise the right leg up in the air, push the left heel down toward the floor. Feel the stretch, you can roll the right hip open if you want to. Try to keep the arms straight. And swing the foot up into a crescent pose. Straighten the back leg, stay on the ball of the back foot. If you want to learn more about yoga, especially the details of yoga, log on Oxygen Online and click on Inhale. But if you don't, just stay here and do it. Doing it is the best way to learn. That's what they tell me. <laughs> I've never actually done yoga, so I don't know. <laughs> you guys are very close to the corpse pose today. All right, bring the hands down to the floor. Step the foot back. <laughs> Come on down. Hangovers will do that for you. Arch up, up dog. And then, when you're ready, push back down dog. Left leg up in the air this time. <laughs> right heel down. Okay. Swing it up. Crescent pose, other side. Can almost hear the snoring. <laughs> <laughs> and bring the hands down to the floor, step the foot back, come down all the way down, arch up, up dog, hurry, 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 push back, down dog, jump both feet up to the hands and just hang down, keep the legs straight, relax, inhale, we'll be back in a moment, stay with us, don't go anywhere ever again. You're watching Oxygen Media. And we're back. Roll all the way up, stretch up. Arch back a little, or a lot. <laughs> Don't pass out though. Exhale, come all the way forward. 
Hands out. Head up, jump back. Calm down. <laughs> and push up. <laughs> push back down, doggy. Otherwise known as the good doggy pose. I don't want to mess up the PG rating, though. So I'll stop now. Raise the right arm up in the air. Why not do a one-armed incline? Not a real question, so don't answer. Do a push up, do the other side. The facial expressions in a pose like this are truly classic. But you can't see them. Especially if you hold it for an extra minute. Yeah. Okay, bring the hand down. Come all the way down, slow as the speed of light. Well, I tell you what. Arch up. Yeah, I've always wanted to do this. Me right? too. Push back, down, dog. I thought that I'd get a chance to, well, try to do some rapping, so. Right leg up in the air. I need your help, man. Gotcha. I got you. Check me out. Hey, your wife won't chill like a clock. Tick tock. You're not going to like this. Swing the foot up. Laced with hip hop. Turn the back foot flat, turn to the side into a warrior pose. So far, so good. <laughs> From here, bring the right hand down to the floor. But don't touch the floor, just reach right underneath the front leg and grab the left hand or wrist behind your back. Hey, Lucille, can I get the date? For real, I can set you straight. Pluck your strings like they never been plucked. Strum you to sleep. So Now, keeping the front leg bent. Come back up, boy. Stitch your case over my face. Uh. So take some time and fly with me. What's the matter, Luce? Oh, you loyal to BB? Uh, I understand. He got the upper hand. After all, he's been Slide the left hand down the back leg, reach back with the right arm. If you can bend the right leg still, that'll make it even more insane. Turn her into a star. Right. And I'm out. And bring the right hand down, this time flat down on the floor. Left arm straight up in the air or straight over your head. Keep rolling the left ribs open. Well, here we are, guys. Leave it on in there. <laughs> I feel good. It's kind of fun for me. Well, I feel better if you just. One more time, reach underneath the front leg. Grab the hand behind you this time if you're feeling ambitious. Straighten the right leg. If you're not, just hang on. Shake through it. She never do any rapping at all. But you know, she loses control when she gets around guys like you. All right. Hands down to the floor. Step the foot back. Ah. Come on down. Arch up. And push back. Down dog. You still love me? No. Not after that. Left leg up in the air. You do? No, you don't. <laughs> Swing the foot up, turn the right foot flat, go right into the warrior pose first. You want the top of the left thigh pretty much level to the floor? Pretty much. May not happen, but that's what you want. Keep on rapping. 
bring the left hand down, but not to the floor. Reach right underneath and grab. Yeah. Keep rolling the right chest open. Look up. Guess you better slow up the Mustang down. Mustang Sally now, baby. Keeping the left leg bent if you can. Come back Guess up, you warrior. If you make a mistake and straighten it by accident, then you can rebend it. That accident happens a lot in that pose. Oh, I guess I gotta put your flat feet on the ground. Slide the right hand down the back leg, reach back. All you wanna do is ride Sing the part. Thank you. All you wanna do Bring the hand out to the floor this time. time, reach underneath the front leg, grab the right fingers or hand or wrist behind you if you can. Keep rolling open the upper body as much as possible. If this is too much for you, keep the left hand on the floor, right arm behind like Linda's doing here. This works. Probably better. <laughs> Okay, bring the hands down, step the foot back. Stay up, don't come down yet. And slowly make your way down. That's slow. <laughs> All right, you. And push back, down dog. Just stay here, relax. That's enough. Jump the feet up to the hands. Chair pose, arms up, legs bent. You've lost your vocal styling. What happened? Here it comes, another chance. <laughs> That's better. At least you can lip sync. Hands down to the floor. Roll all the way up, stretch up. Really stretch every cell up toward the ceiling. And then exhale and come all the way forward. Just hang there. Relax, more warm up when we return. Inhale, we'll be back in a moment. Those of you that think that gospel music has gone too far. All right. We've gotten too radical with that. And we're back. So roll all the way up. Stretch up. And if you don't know, now you know. Go and go right. Exhale, come all the way forward. Try not to pass out on me. You better put them hands together. Yeah. Hands are down, head is up, jump back or step back. Come down. Arch up. And push back, down dog. Kirk Franklin's the man. Right leg up in the air. It gets me high. Swing it up. Press and pose. Press and pose. Press can't take my joy, devil. Can't take my joy, devil. <laughs> oh, you better put them hands together and have a Holy Ghost party with me. If I don't see a little more celebration, we're gonna just hold this. No weapon. 
<laughs> Slowly hook the left elbow over the front leg into a prayer style twist. Palms together, rolling the, again, left shoulder under, right shoulder open, pointing the right elbow up, looking up if you can. If that's too weird for you, then bring the left hand down, flat down to the floor, and the right arm up. Different way to work it, but just as good. As long as you're getting a rotation in the spine, that's what we want. With those hands, step the foot back. Take down. Arch up. And push back, down dog. Left leg in the air. Now, young people, if you don't mind, I feel like having a little trash in here. Because the devil is alive, because he's a Messiah, but it's another level. Come on. I never know what he says right there. <laughs> I got the rest of it. Thankful, pity, and hateful, I'm grateful. The Lord brought me through this far. Swing it up. Press and pull. Jumping, keep jumping, make the Lord feel something. Ain't no shame in my game, God's property. Yeah. Get into the church, it'll stop. Oh, yeah, we got church, ain't going nowhere. GP, are you with me? Oh, yeah, we got church, ain't going nowhere. GP, are you with me? Come into the twist, other style, other side rather. Again, if you want to do the other style with one hand down, one arm up, go ahead. Try to straighten the back leg, keep rolling the spine open. At around age 25, all the fluid in your spine starts to dry up. And if you don't do some exercise like this exactly, then you become like this exactly. So you gotta do yoga if you want to stay young. Okay, bring the hands down. Step the foot back. Come on down. Arch up, up dog. Somebody ought to sample this song. <laughs> Push back, down dog. <laughs> I think it's time to jump the feet up to the hands and do the chair myself. Not actually do it myself, but watch you do it. <laughs> Some of you could bend the legs a little more. Okay, bring the hands down, straighten the legs. Lift the head, jump back or step back. Stay up in the top of the push-up, don't come down yet. don't share the same definition of the word slow. Once you get down, arch up. And then push back, down, down. Right leg up in the air. Swing the foot up. Turn the back foot flat down. Now you can do this one of two ways. One way is you interlock the hands behind you and come all the way down into a lunge. Or you bring the hands or forearms down to the inside like that. But keep the back foot flat, back leg straight, bend the front leg and just come down whichever way you like. If you're doing this version with the arms down, you can also reach underneath and grab, but that's ridiculous and you don't need it. <laughs> If you are down like that, if you can tuck your head under your leg like so, that's cool. The idea is just to keep you humble. Doesn't matter if you actually feel anything. Okay, bring the hands down, step the foot back. Come down. 
Arch up. And push back, down dog. The devil's on his way. Left leg up in the air. Swing it up, other side. Turn the right foot down. Again, either one, the lunge, but whatever version with the arms. Arms are either behind your back and come down over your head, or you just come down like that. Whatever. Try to keep bending the front leg. Uh-huh, come down with the hands, step the foot back. <laughs> Sink all the way down. Arch up, up dog. And push back, down doggy. Jump the feet up to the hands or step them if you have to. Roll all the way up, stretch up. If you're going to arch back a lot, then squeeze the butt tight to kind of protect your low back. But you still push the hips forward. Exhale and come forward. And then very slowly roll up. Just keep the arms down. We're going to do a standing bow. I don't know why. Grab the inside of the left foot or ankle. Right arm comes straight up in the air. Kick back and come forward. Go slow. How slow are we going? <laughs> you don't have to go as slow as Patrick's going. <laughs> This is looking good, just stay here. Uh-oh, was looking good. You can tell who's been drinking. Fantastic, come down. <laughs> There's other side. You can do this against the wall. You know, if you bring this hand up against the wall, then you feel a little more secure, which is a good feeling. And then you can really kick the leg up higher if you want. Wrong hand to the wrong leg. So this hand, uh, this hand goes to that leg. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's more exciting. <laughs> and that's enough of that. Come down and just hang forward. Step the feet apart a little bit. Just relax. Keep the neck soft, the breath moving. We will be right back. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Stay tuned to Oxygen Media. Hello, we're back. So now we're gonna do a little, <laughs> it's not really cool down. We're gonna do some back bends. So slide the feet up by your bottom, please. Feet are flat down about hip distance apart. From here, push the hips up in the air, high as you can into the bridge pose. Once you're up there, there's a couple things you can do with the arms. You can have them flat on the floor, or you can grab the ankles from the outside, or you can interlock them on the floor, or if you're really lazy or this is hard for you, you can bring the hands underneath the hips or waist, so you're doing a supported variation, which takes some of the heat out off your thighs. If you want to do more in the area of back bends, you can come into the wheel like these two beauties are doing. The arms are straight as possible. Keep the breath moving. Uh, 
That's enough of that. Come on down slowly, though. Ah. Pull the knees to the chest. We're into a thousand of these. <laughs> so let's do it one more time at least. Come on up. The bridge or the wheel, whichever one you prefer. Try to keep the feet flat. See if you can keep the feet also straight. I know you can't see them, but just try to turn them a little more pigeon toed and that'll probably bring them more or less straight. If they turn out, it's, you know, it won't hurt you, but it's a little better for your back to keep them straight. Also, see if you can keep the feet flat on the floor. If you can't and you have to come up on the balls of your feet, you'll live. But breathe. Always respect your body. Don't force it. Come on down. Knees to the chest. Straighten the legs on the floor. Turn over on your tum tum, a technical term. This is very stimulating to the nervous system, which is why we're going to do it. You guys need a little stimulation. So, bend the knees. Grab the ankles from the outside. <laughs> Hang on tight and come on up, high as you can. Try to straighten the legs away from you while hanging on. Pull you up. See if you can kind of relax the shoulders so the chest really opens, so the legs are doing most of the work, the arms are just hanging on passively. If you want to make it more intense, bring the feet closer together. And calm down. Sometimes once is enough. So push back into a child's pose. If you can. I've kept this single faith that I have but won't believe. I still, I still love you. I still, I still okay, sit up. Bring the legs out in front of you. We're going to do it's kind of a Chinese yoga pose. You bring the legs out not real wide, just about two feet or so. It's called monkey climbs the limb. This is the monkey, this is the limb. You climb the limb, you grab it, and you come down over the leg, okay? Start with the left one, just to make it look cool. So again, the legs aren't real wide. You're not trying to get the inner thighs, rather you're trying to get the hamstrings. Just breathe. Try to relax the left leg as much as you can without losing the basic integrity. You don't want the knee to buckle too much, but you want to try and keep the back of the leg, the hamstring area soft so that it really gets in deep. If you're tensing that very muscle you're trying to stretch, it takes you longer and there's more chance of injury, which you don't want, I assume. Rather than 
coming up, just kind of go over to the other side, slowly. In Chinese style yoga, they, they do this to open the meridians. The meridian system runs through the body and they say if the meridians are open and the energy can flow through you, then you become or stay healthy, much healthier. But not only just in the physical way in which the Western mind conceives of it, but rather health all the way through. Spirit, mind, the whole act. A little bit beyond the uh, normal downtown awareness. Stay here and breathe. And then come on up. Bring the soles of the feet together. Pull them in close. Grab a hold of the top, like so. Initially extend out as far as you can with the spine being straight, but then allow the back to round as you come all the way down. Stay with it. To learn more about yoga, you could read thousands of books or you could just log on Oxygen Online and click on to inhale. Your choice. And come on up. Turn around. Lie down on your back. We're just going to do a quick twist. Pull the right knee into the chest. Squeeze it in and then drop it right over the straight left leg. Push the right shoulder down. Take a couple deep breaths. I said quick, didn't I? Come on up. Let's do the other side. Drop it over. Some people don't survive this. When you're done with this, lie on your back, we'll be back. You're watching Inhale. All day Saturday, only on Oxygen. Live out loud. And we're back for the big relax. So just lie there on your back. Palms are turned up so you have a sense of receptivity. Take a long, slow, deep breath. Exhale the same way, just easy and relaxed. And just get a sense or impression or picture of your mind, in your mind, what the mind looks like in other words, and allow it to evaporate in front of you. 
so it just dissipates, melts. And the same with the body. An impression or sense or feeling or intuition or picture of your body, just allow it to vaporize or evaporate in your mind's eye. And the sense of doing, that you have to do something, just give it up. In this moment, there's nothing to do, nothing to get, nowhere to go. You're just free and open, infinite, boundless, alive, eternally. So the yogis say. The yogis also say life is a purposeless energy going nowhere for no reason. There's no reason other than it's just a play. It's called Chit Shakti Vilas in Sanskrit, which means a play of consciousness. Consciousness is just dancing in all these forms. Your body, your thoughts, your feelings, your situations, your friends, your family, objects, the stars, the moon. It's all just a play of one intelligent, vast, infinite, indescribable reality. And yoga is about experiencing that firsthand, not as a concept, but to identify yourself and experience that firsthand. And they say that that's your true nature. The only thing in the way is your negativity, your thoughts, negative thoughts and conclusions and presumptions and stuffed emotions that block your experience. But in this moment, forget all that. Just keep dropping back into the prior and therefore senior awareness to all phenomena. Very slowly, keeping your eyes closed, roll onto your right side. And with your eyes still closed, just float yourself up into a sitting position. Spine is straight, but the body is relaxed. Just sit and revel in whatever's arising in your awareness in this moment. Don't look for the future. Don't look to the past. You're just present and alive right now. It only takes a glimpse to get it. And that's good because we're out of time. So bring the poems together. And we say, Namaste. Namaste.